Let's get into the video. Subscribe. Today, I am really focusing on control and to just keep it real. That's like the, one of the biggest things that I struggle with is the need to control everything around me. And that is difficult. One thing that I've learned is that when you have kids, um, the more you try to control them, the more they push back. So controlling kids is out the window. It's basically leading kids is what you need to do. I'm currently working on making my amends. And I'm really digging deep about certain amends that I need to make. I made a, a long list of amends and I basically picked out three to start with and I picked out the easiest ones. I struggle with this control and part of my control, it sounds really stupid, but I food shame people and I really need to stop that. I am actively trying to stop that. My issue is that I decided to be healthy and I educated myself on food and healthy food choices. And now in my home, I expect everyone else to subscribe to the same belief systems and change their eating habits, but that's just not realistic. And so it definitely bothers me, to say the least. And I have to work on that. I mean, it sounds so stupid, but I will s sit there and food shame people. For instance, my dog is like starting to get overweight. And so I'm like getting on people about feeding her junk. And someone's trying to feed her a french fry and they're like saying, oh no, the frozen fries aren't the same as regular fries. And I don't know why it bugs me so much for someone to stick up for a freaking french fry. Like, it's crazy. And this is because I need a control. And it just sounds stupid, but it's the reality of my life here. <laughs> and I will nitpick things. And so that's just one little place in my life where I'm struggling with control. I'm really realizing that I have no control. And the more that I try to control, the more of a negative response. I get this is why just letting go and leading by example is so important when it comes to my family when it comes to other people's lifestyles my decision to stay clean and sober that will reflect the most if I just live that sort of life walk the walk talk the talk and just set this good example for people. And I think that's what's really going to benefit the most. I'm like at this point where I'm really trying to look, take a close look at my behavior. And I don't want people to sneak junk food around me 
because they don't want me to make a big deal about their sugar addiction. I don't want people to feel like I think that I'm better than them because I am strict with my food choices. This is something that was brought to my attention that I'm seriously trying to work on, not food shaming people. It's crazy. And here I am focusing on that and I literally have a dream of one of my friends eating french fries and me giving that person a hard time about it. And it's like, it's in my dreams, it's crazy. I don't even know what's going on. It's just how life works. It sounds so ridiculous um, for me to get upset for someone sticking up over a french fry, but whatever. Another part of my life that I feel like stress over control is like, what am I going to do with my life? I literally, it feels so heavy and like, it seems like such a big step to like, figure out like what I want to do with my life. What kind of job do I want? How am I going to get that job? What's the right path for me? What's my calling? All these things. And the more that I sit and stress about that, the more stressful it becomes. So I really just need to let go of that. Pray that my higher power will, will organically lead me in that direction. And let go of it and just trust. That's my thing. I just need to trust that it's all in higher power's hands. I need to trust that that higher power will influence my family in the way that they do and that his will, you know, God's will will be done. I, I need to just let go of, of control. Let go of it. Ridiculous. A good place to start would be every day, make a conscious decision saying today I choose to let go. And when I catch myself trying to control the situation, stopping myself and saying, I choose to let go. And I'm just going to practice that. And the goal is the more that I do that, the easier it will be for me to let go. And the less I will care about these stupid mundane things.